name is Taylor. I love to Irish dance to play softball, and I love to go shopping. I guess you can call me a typical 11-year-old girl. We weren't sure what happened with Taylor because she had fallen during a skating accident and she just wasn't getting better. Um, so her pediatrician was very persistent and he found something that looked to be a tumor and he sent us to Hartford um, Children's Medical Center. I had to have a big surgery and it took a little while for my stomach to stop hurting. The doctors and nurses were really great and so nice to me in the hospital and that helped a lot. The staff there was wonderful. She took right away to the oncologist, Dr. Isakoff, and he has been supportive of us, and the surgeons there were fantastic, and it was, it was a comforting place to be when you had to go through something so challenging because it knocked us off our feet, as you can imagine, that our child was going through this. I tell people all the time that when you drive by a hospital, you just think it's a building until you get inside and, and experience the doctors and nurses and what they do on a daily basis. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Then, a few weeks later, I had to start my chemo treatments. I was really afraid, and sometimes I felt really sick. My family was supportive also because they were always with me during the whole thing. I was amazed how brave she was because the size of the needle when she went to her chemo therapy treatment, it was just huge and I'm a little bit afraid of needles and I was just surprised at how strong she was that um, that needle wouldn't hurt her at all. My mom, dad and sister stayed with me all of the time. We have a big family and lots of friends too. This family is very close. We do a lot of things together and um, I think this whole experience even brought us closer in a lot of ways. They came over a lot to visit me when I felt up to it. I'm pretty lucky I have all of them. It's the past the pig we gave. My dad, Taylor's grandfather, was extremely proud of her. I mean, he's always proud of his grandkids. He loves those, all of them. Um, sadly, dad passed away very recently, and we all miss him so much. Um, he was so excited about Make-A-Wish and what Make-A-Wish did for our family. As a matter of fact, in lieu of flowers, we asked that donations be made to Make-A-Wish because that's what he wanted. All he wanted to do was uh, see her down at the ball, even if he couldn't make it. He, he, that was his one wish, that he be well enough to be able to be there in spirit or whatever. But he'll sadly, be there. He'll be there he'll in a different there, way. But... He'll be there in a different way watching his girl. My doctor told me about the Make-A-Wish Foundation when I started my treatments. I couldn't believe that I got to wish for anything. I was so excited and when I didn't feel well, I would start to think about what I was going to wish for. I was afraid to start fifth grade, but I didn't want to miss graduating with my class and I missed my friends that I hadn't seen all summer. Sometimes it was really hard and I felt a little sick and really tired, but I wanted to go to school as much as I could. Taylor and her family knew that I'd been diagnosed with cancer three years ago, with breast cancer. I worked all through my treatments. Um, and I think what helped her mom and Taylor was the fact that, you know, I did know something about what she was going through. And I think it made Taylor a little more comfortable coming to me if she had a, a, an issue, which she really didn't. The, the most exciting thing she came to me for was a Band-Aid. I missed some of the field trips, but that was okay. Everyone at school was watching out for me and were so nice. That helped a lot. I really think the students learned more than academics last year. They truly learned the value of the words in the, on the sign in the front of my room. It's nice to be important, but more important to be nice. And Taylor's indomitable spirit made that sign, the words on that sign truly come alive for all of us. Her demeanor through the year was so, so positive that it was truly inspirational to all of us to watch her. And I only hope that uh, in a similar time of need, I could carry myself and act as positively and upbeat as she did throughout the year. I went to a really great school and I did graduate with my class. Debbie and Gary from the Make-A-Wish Foundation had come to visit me and asked me what I wanted to wish for. I told them a shopping spree in New York City in a limo. I have always wanted to do that, but could never imagine being able to go and just buy anything I wanted. 
her first thing was that she wanted to go shopping in a limo in New York City. Um, and we said, okay, that, that's great. And why don't you think about some other things? And I know that we, we both talked about it and said, you know, whatever she wanted is what, what she would wish for. Taylor talked about the wish nonstop <laughs> when she realized what it was. She was very um, confused exactly. She had no idea what it meant. And she couldn't believe that anyone was doing this for her. She got to have whatever she wanted to do, our little shopaholic. <laughs> I loved her trip to New York. It was just such a great thing. I mean, it took what was such a sad thing and, and, and such a horrifying thing to go through and gave her this joyous end. And the, the joyous time came at a point when she was getting clean bills of health after going through chemo. So it was just so wonderful. When the day came, the limo picked up me, my sister Mia, my mom, and my dad. Debbie and Gary came too and took care of everything. We went to the Apple Store, FAO Sports, the American Girl Store, Abercrombie, and Dylan's Candy Shop. And we had lunch at Planet Hollywood. It was great, and we just kept getting in and out of the limo like we were famous. I got lots of great stuff, and I got some nice stuff for my sister Mia too, because she went through a lot with me too. Taylor has a younger sister whose name is Mia, and I had the pleasure of having Mia in third grade, and that's how I get to know Taylor and uh, Taylor's parents, Dave and Tracy. And this year I have Mia again in fifth grade and the beginning of the year we had to do an essay on our hero. A lot of students chose football players and famous actors and actresses, but Mia unprompted chose Taylor because Taylor truly is Mia's hero and she talked about the strength and courage that her sister has had. I am so thankful to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and to Debbie and Gary for giving me something exciting to look forward to and for a great day. Giving children the opportunity to have something happy at the end of such a very difficult time is more than any child could ask for, and we're very honored that Taylor got to have that experience. Taylor, Taylor this, this is, is your big night. night. Have fun. We, we love, love you. you. Taylor, this is your very, very special night. We're all so very, very happy and pleased for you. Enjoy the heck out of it. Be good, kiddo. You deserve it. Taylor, this is your special night. We are so proud of you. We love you. I just want to wish you well, Taylor, in Madison Middle School. And I know this is a big night for you, and I'm sure you're going to have a fabulous time, and you're going to look so beautiful. And we really miss you here at Jane Ryan. Taylor, this is your big night. We're so proud of you, and we love you. Taylor, I hope you have a good time tonight. You really deserve it, and we miss you here at Jane Ryan School, and we hope you come and visit us sometime now that you're at Madison. Taylor, this is your special night. Enjoy yourself. We love you so much. We're proud of you. Enjoy. Taylor, we love you. We're proud of you. Have a great time tonight. You deserve it. You're a special girl. Enjoy it. Thank you, Make-A-Wish. I will never forget my fun trip. Thank you, Make-A-Wish.